to shoot on me there. So <coughs> Yes, we were talking about are we worthy of sorrow and suffering? Did you all get the time to reflect over this question? Are you worthy of suffering? Did you get some time to reflect over the question? Or simply um, heard, yeah, yes, Teddy. I didn't know if it meant that you deserved it, or if you were uh, were so humble. Which way to take that question? I didn't know how to take it. Like if it meant that yeah. you're so humble that you that yeah. you. I am very. I'm just enough for that, you know. Let me make a, let me put a thought in your mind. I am very humble. That is why I am suffering. No, that's not, I think that's not right. That's my opinion. So, 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 we never, never use the word deserve for suffering because of our essential nature is peace and happiness. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Jeez, very good. So this <laughs> is how, you know, that is the beauty of the teaching. <clears throat> you know, this virus is so severe. Virus. <laughs> that I am worthy of suffering. I deserve suffering. This virus is very severe, more severe than COVID. And it is highly contagious. I come to you and I say, Terry, you see that oh, bad things are happening in my life. So you say you pat on my shoulder. Okay, okay, no worries. You are already receiving that. It is highly contagious. A little effect will drop you from learning. That is why we see that. I, I have been telling you. We have to become a seeker to continue to listen. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing will happen. <clears throat> A little effect will drop you from learning. Will cause great pain. You see that we... For 10 years, I love you so dearly. And the next moment it is gone. Look at the severity of this virus. So we need vaccination regularly. Two vaccine of COVID will not work. You know, now they have started giving a booster shot. <laughs> so this is a booster shot. So you see that contemplation, now pay attention, contemplation depends on the memory. What I learned, if I do not remember, you know, you just now, before the start of the lesson, <coughs> Randy was saying, you know, my mindset today is Saturday. You know, it's not a, it's a delusion, you see? We know it is not affecting me. Now I realize that it is Monday. <clears throat> but how the delusion takes over us? So that is why to keep that memory fresh all the time. If you do not have that memory, how can you respect or love these teachings? How can you love or respect the teacher or anyone? Love, respect, faith, knowledge, all are based on the right memory. Not the wrong memory that, you know, I'm worthy of suffering as Terry was saying, you know, I deserve. Come on. How dare your mind you say that I deserve suffering? 
no way. Memory retrieves is the right knowledge and the knowledge recalls. We should recall this knowledge whenever it is required. Brandy did it. No, it is not Saturday, it is Monday. Oh. I have a question. Yeah. If something is a bad happening to you and you're feeling it, then you have to uh, not focus on stating this that yeah, it's yeah, occurring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when you say I'm suffering, you're stating what's occurring that you're feeling. And, and, and so are you saying that we have to remember to state it differently so that it's more correct? Yes. Okay. We should have an operative memory. Operative memory that I am not worthy of suffering. Why? To purify the mind. Why? So that this mind should reflect inner peace and happy peace. So a, whatever's occurring that it seems like suffering, you could state it, you could name it a different way to simply say that it's occurring, but not put a value judgment on it. The moment you put a value judgment, you are suffering from the three diseases, attachment and uh, detachment, sorrow and suffering, wow. and delusion. Say, oh boy. Take the same example of Brandy, you know, it is Saturday. So now my mind in deep delusion continues to claim it is Saturday, it is Saturday, it is Saturday. So what you normally do it on Saturday, you will start doing it. Oh, operative memory. Now see, when we forget you, we forget my honey to care of me in difficult times. For years together, he or she loved me, he, sh he and she should have taken care of me. Parents saved me when I was a baby, living my animal life. We lose that respect and love and care. Why? Three diseases. Remember, we underplay these acts of kindness done to us and forgets. Are you not alive? Is it not an act of kindness from the existence? Why shouldn't I keep that operative memory in my head rather than, oh, I am worthy of suffering? Mm -hmm. Teachings are very subtle. Mm -hmm. So the same way the teacher in the Eastern wisdom uh, takes care of everyone, everyone like a mother. And sometimes the teacher gives a kick to care so that the seeker evolves. Now see, let us move little further. Mind that is absorbed in the, these three diseases claims fearlessness. Another point. That's a very important point. I'm just focused on, I'm, am I worthy of suffering? You take a man who is drunkard. He is not at all concerned about the world. Right? So now, if I'm drunkard by the three diseases, who cares? Ah, what you are talking? You are wasting your time in meditation? I'm already intoxicated with their three suffering. They claim, you know, once you are drunkard, you claim that you are fearless. You are secure. But you are not. I told you the last time the story of a goddess, goddess of sorrow, sadness, 
big face huh? all the time i told you that she loved me and it happened in my you can say my extended family i don't want to name that girl very wise everyone praises intelligent girl now what happened because of the three diseases she had a very higher expectations from everyone including her husband when the mind is obsessed with the seeking pleasure and a higher expectation the intellect follows the mind now understand the intellect follows the mind it builds a subtle ego that refuses to agree even after understanding i told you knowledge is realized in stasis another guy who is a supreme court lawyer in india very <coughs> he was attending my sessions you know in india i used to give lessons 5 days a week 5 hours per day every month it was a very crash course so you see <clears throat> 2500 hours in a month you have to be at the right time i used to close the door and this guy attended at least 10 different sessions it means i am the failure I am the failure, but no. And after five hours of the session, she he used to wait for me when everyone left, and he used to cry. So one time crying is okay, and the second time, then I realized his nature. <clears throat> I used to look at him. He used to cry for twenty, thirty minutes. When I said done, so but why you are were staring me? Pay attention to this. Why you are looking at me? After half an hour of your crying, you you are calm now. understand not because of your crying carry again i am answering your question not because of my crying but why why think of this they have found a different channels that i am crying you know i become calm that is the principle of modern psychology let it be there we are not but when i am crying i need an emotional support what is attachment emotional dependence those who are sad grieve blame complain are they worthy of doing so ask yourself now see the opposite side when we are in love smile happiness we can pass on at least there is something worthy <clears throat> can you go to your friend and say you know i am very sad let me pass little sadness to you yeah think of this the more you think and contemplate this mind has to change what we are working on that how we can work on the mind i am sad because one day you love me can you say that sadness sorrow and the suffering do not exist simple it exists because of the three symptoms three diseases as long as these three diseases are there have you taken two vaccination shot <laughs> you need another booster 
as long as if your mind says no no it exists i feel it you feel it because of the three illnesses it exists because of attachment and detachment emotional dependence on one side and delusion on the other side are you getting it take the same example it's a very simple example brandy said no my mind said it is saturday so your mind will start to working what you used to do it on saturdays not on mondays who is responsible now question is does saturday exist today or not that much needs to be reminded to the mind forget about what are the symptoms because that will not help you that is the uh, way of the science our great master krishna says wise people do not grieve do not remain sad do not have a big face can you rephrase that sentence in your head <laughs> are you wise are you wise so he said that those who grieve remain sad are fool krishna hits our subtle ego how dare you say no no you are fool he told arjuna he told many of his secrets sorrow includes anger hesitation sadness they do not give any result are you sure think of this crying sadness grief can give you any result no no but i should grieve you know question is how krishna arrived at this at this wisdom how so i gave you a hint where what can you show me any object of sadness can you or any object of suffering in the world for one would cause a joy and a pleasure for others it is addictive tell me any one a, a husband or a wife says i am fed up with you but 10 years were you fed up no now yes object of sadness suffering is not present in the world at all show me any so from where this problem has come very has asked a beautiful question so i'll focus on that to this and that is a good way of learning <clears throat> so object of sadness is not there i become the subject of sadness and suffering but they do not exist so from where it has come our master says it has come because the mind mind covered the intellect of the right knowledge and now the intellect is working as a pleasure intellect and expectation intellect are you getting it It's pleasure intellect is there pleasure intellect the moment i wake up the world should welcome me even if i have a big face <laughs> why should you are you special come on so my mind is totally obsessed with the pleasure intellect so now understand that is why we are learning three types of intellect pleasure intellect expectation intellect and the wise intellect the wise intellect works with the discernment 
Pleasure intellect now retrieved the story. Log of wood became an alligator. Do you remember? In my mind, I create a story. Oh, do you see that? You know, Terry hated me. Harry did not say hello. He did not wish me. No, no. Do you see expectation? Why? Pleasure? Look at this. Pleasure and uh, expectation intellect. Now that log of wood has become an alligator. No, no, I will not go. I will not talk to her. You see, constant working. The mind is constantly working. So now mind if it is constantly working in this way, ask the question, am I worthy of suffering? And Terry is enjoying. She doesn't have anything, you know. She, may, she might be busy. This thing happens, I can tell you, every day in our life. Every day in our life. Whether you agree or do not agree, if you examine, you will understand. Sadness depends on our emotional dependence, full of expectation. Do we know how much to expect? Do you measure the expectation? Discernment intellect. I told you the story. A boy was reading the book, uh, How to Take Care of the Kids. He was hardly 13 years old. So Dad asked him, "How? what the hell, you know, why are you are studying? Why are you are reading this book? I'm just finding out how much you are taking care of me. Come on. <laughs> so if I live in this way, suffering will never leave me. Make it sure. What I did, why the suffering will never leave, leave uh, will never leave me. I'm giving a, another word for you in the intellect. We downgraded our intellect. Crush at first sight, I downgrade my intellect. I like this. I will have it. You downgraded your intellect. Pleasure intellect and expectation intellect is there. Intellect fell down to a low level. What happens then? Then you are confused. What is right and good? Are you getting it? Think of it. When you downgrade your intellect, a small word destroys the relationship. Then what we say? Enough is enough. I have heard you too much. You agree to a person 99 times and a single time you refused, relationship is gone, don't do it. I will tell you, <coughs> when you downgrade the intellect, you suffer internally. You claim that you love that person so much. I can tell you, I have attended many services in New Jersey. I did not get any chance to attend any service here. Thanks, God. Ashok, service means that after the death, you go and attend the service. I attended the service of... So this woman has been taking care of her maybe 95, 96 years of her mother. She is still with me. You see what happens after you continue with the emotional dependence. So she told me, enough is enough, you know. We have been going, you know, she doesn't talk and 
she doesn't speak, it's better. You know what she told me. I don't see the life in the individual if I downgrade my intellect. Think of this. Think. Do I want to survive? Yes. Does she want to survive? Yes. Survival is same. Existence is same. But we find a rational, we have found a rational solution. It's okay. In the society. <clears throat> My master used to say, you invest in attachment and detachment, you invest in delusion, so sell, you will reap. What you get? Sadness, sorrow, suffering. Then you try to prove I am worthy of suffering. It is not there. It do not exist. It exists because of the intellect is downgraded. Why it is downgraded? Because of pleasure intellect and expectation. One more thing, but, but, but. The moment you realize it, you start contemplating and reflecting, you also come to an understanding that I'm not worthy of suffering. But why I got the suffering? It was a kick. It was a kick in our life. Now the time is there to become aware and alert. Otherwise, how can I become aware and alert? So every time <laughs> Brandy's mind says it is Saturday, it is a kick and she returns that, it, no, it is Monday. I get a kick from the people. It's good. So now, because it is a discernment intellect, Terry, again, I'm focusing on that same principle. I get a kick. Thank you. Thanks, God. Now I will live my life transcending the suffering. Every kick of this world shows the path to inner peace and happiness. So our master says that never fight, react, anger over anyone. Look within. Ask the mind to give space to the intellect. Upgrade it. And then you will realize that nothing in the world can make you worry and sad. And then we, I don't get a chance to say you, Mr. Sad, Miss Sadness. Etc. Et that helps us to evolve. Do you see that? Kind of, you know, you start living into a different state of the consciousness. Nobody notice. People will notice once you start living into that. So it opens the door that we will take up next week, that that mind works on us through sh shreyas, not prayers. These are the two words. We will take in a very, uh, with a clarity, shreyas is a movement what is right and good, that is common to all. And prayers means what I like, what is pleasant to me, I do it, I will do it. Now see that, that meditation will come down at the action level, at the behavior level, at the level of our attitude. 
So once I understand that what is right and common, what is right and good, that is common to all. I just gave you an example of this. Now she is no more, but uh, she doesn't dare to speak about that thing again because I told her straight up. He has been with me for a couple of years. I said, how dare you think like this? You know, in our country, it's very common. No, no, you know, we always talk, you know. Now it's, uh, no, you know, no. He or she is already 99, and she hardly, or he hardly speaks. It is better. And anyone, if anyone says about me, <laughs> Can anyone say about me what will happen? Get rid of this money. Mm. I see the life they have a right to survive. Finished. Let me take care the best possible way. If they are near and dear to me. I should keep my mind totally clear. Are you getting? So from there we can go down that how to translate these principles into action. Now you see this meditation. Eastern wisdom covers every facet of our life. Ah, then let us start over <laughs> another journey. Of practice, eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. Body is steady. Eyes are closed. The body is steady and Mind is facing within. You see that now we have such a clarity. First, become aware of the body. Or you can say the first step Awareness of the body, steadiness in the body, and mind is facing within, eyes are gently closed. You see that? Even if I don't say eyes are gently closed, your eyes withdraws. Why? Because mind is 100% clear. Attachment and detachment, sorrow and the suffering, this sadness, this all the crazy stuff comes in relationship to the world outside. But world cannot be the object of delusion, the object of sadness. Oh, yes, I have understood. So that understanding in the intellect keeps the mind facing within. If that understanding is not there, do whatever you want to do. Do five hours of breathing, ten hours of Kundalini meditation, it will not work. If it works, challenge me. And then we come down, we say, mind, second step, being comfortable. And always repeat it consciously, not habitually. Understand that we should move from the physical level to the subtler level of the mind and ultimately to the causal level and then to the real self. 
That is another meaning of being comfortable for a seeker, not for a non-seeker or a beginner. Understand that. Look at the neck joint physical level. Experience sensation, comfortable and steadiness. Mental level. See that. Then the space, darkness or emptiness, plus the mind triggers a lot of thoughts. No problem. So being comfortable and being carefree go together. See that? Any thought, every thought has an object. I am not an object. I am a subject and that subject is the real self, not my ego. You see, the understanding works. You have upgraded your intellect during the practice. So the mind drops running after the objects. And your comfort level is so deep that you drop the identification with the body. When you drop the identification with the body, <clears throat> the mind is fully vaccinated from these three diseases. Looking at shoulder joints, being there, feeling sensation conferred and steadiness, good. Mental level, we have causal level. Causal level, you know, mind triggers one impression from nowhere. Thank you, I'm okay. Mind, I'm okay. I'm not going with you. That understanding, that awareness should be there. So that makes you comfortable and carefree. See that. Yes, another point I'm picking up, and uh, I believe and appreciate you will understand. Who doesn't want comfort and being carefree all the time? Everyone. So what is preventing me? The impressions that I have stored in the from the past about what about that my mind has been claiming that I am worthy of suffering. <clears throat> What? Yes. But I don't believe you. Why you don't believe? I gave you a logical answer. We downgraded our intellect. Now I believe you can realize the power of the knowledge. So 
सा विद्या या विमुक्त नॉलेज इज दैट पावर विच लिबरेट्स अस फ्रॉम सफरिंग यू सी वी आर मिनिमाइजिंग एंड we are minimizing the those steps and practices no i when i breathe i go into a deep relaxation so you have learned it good here are the primary steps for beginners but it doesn't mean that we should not use it whenever it is required but reliance on anything outside <clears throat> will not help us in a higher journey of mind let us go for the nyasa nyasa you remember make your breath only a little deep not very deep so that your mind is aware that there is a change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath so that becomes your car it keeps your attention alive where the attention alive upgraded knowledge and understanding and now simple as the breath as the breath goes in the mind moves inside the right arm in the space dropping shantu ham i am the peace i am the peace the knowledge awareness experience all continues together and as you as you see the as the mind perceives that you are exhaling the mind can moves within the right arm in the space what the intellect is doing intellect is doing in shantam why we need to repeat it consciously to get rid of those past impressions which claims i am worthy of suffering any break in the rhythm loss of awareness is understood as mind at present claims i am worthy of suffering so you again become aware so the intellect again understands that i am the peace you see the Nyasa is uh, I found from the tantra tradition is one of the most beautiful step and I'll do it on the left arm
what will happen when the practice deepens you will realize that when the body is not I am even if the body moves and you continue to practice it doesn't affect that state of mind what that means a deeper state so whether you remain still and our masters are crazy first they say maintain the steadiness in the body if it moves you fail but after that whether it moves or remains steady doesn't matter you learn the principle you learn the concept, you do the practice, then we drop that practice and that principle. Why? We want freedom. Freedom cannot be attained with any concept. Now, moving the mind inside the right leg with the same shantoham. Give you a metaphor. The breath is a car, mind is the driver, highway is the space inside. And who is the boss sitting? Intellect. What it says, I am the peace. Finish. That is the way. And inside the left leg, you're doing the nyas, just a reminder. I know I need not to speak anything. Speaking anything during this state is disturbing you. to hum that knowledge lives in the mind upgraded intellect now I have a lot of problems in my life that is why I am meditating but meditation says you are not worthy of suffering Mind dares to say that. So that mind which says this must go. But we live with millions of impressions, heavy cultural, social, 
conditioning. We have a good memory of that I am suffering. We have no memory that I am the peace and happy. And now inside the spine, from the crown of the head to the tailbone, and from the tailbone to the crown of the head, Shantu Hum Shantu Hum Only this allow the breath to be normal, moving the mind inside the heart. As you move the mind inside the heart in the space, let your intellect sing Shantu. Mentally, during the movement of the mind, Shantu. Hum. I am. Um, what I am? Peace. Then do nothing. Remain as you are. Allow the mind to reveal that. Well, mind says, no, let me do it again. Do it again. Or the other way to understand as you start moving the mind within and start singing Shantu, as if you are entering into a deep cave inside your heart. And then who is moving? A hum. That is the meaning I am. What did I find? Peace. you will come to know what prevents you is what are these past impressions you don't want and still they come so if the mind says i will continue to bring these impressions let your intellect resolve i will continue to stay shanto so we have found a solution Do you ever for oh what's your name? No, I'm Brandy, I'm Terry. You never forget. I am peace. Do you forget why you know it?
No mind tricks. It draws our attention to the body and it moves, or it doesn't move, but mind. <clears throat> because without identification with the body, mind cannot suffer from these three diseases. Without identification, mind cannot say that I have many challenges and problems in my life. That is why I am sad, I am suffering. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside the palms, know your experiences. Bring the hands down, ready to share your experiences. And if you have doubt, yes, we should communicate to remove those doubts based on the principles. How are you, Terry, now? Let me go to Terry. I think there's some things that I still don't understand. And I um, I don't know why my body always starts to bother me right when I get, when I begin to relax. Okay. And go to that deep state. That's when it starts to do this more. And I was thinking. I had the, I wanted to have no thoughts, but I kept having a lot of thoughts and questions. And I wanted to know who is doing this because I'm not doing it. Mind is doing it. Mind <laughs> falsely created an object in a subject. First, the mind says, I am the body. Then you see, mind says, you see, the body is moving. Then the mind says, you see, you are destroying your peace. You can never go into the peace. One answer, mm -hmm. think of this, contemplate and reflect. The greater, deeper, the co contemplation comes from the memory. If I don't remember, why I don't remember? <clears throat> because I know I am the body. So I don't remember I am not the body. So that vicious circle is created. <clears throat> that needs to be broken by understanding, knowledge, and practice. It will work. I know. How are you, David and Harry? Um, I can't remember a lot of the detail about the meditation, but yes. it was just so... It took me a little bit, but once 
I got into it, I was extremely deep and right. just out of my heart center. So deep. That's wonderful. That should happen. <laughs> there is nothing. There is nothing that belongs to the world and I'm with myself. Deeper, how are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good. Um, yeah, I just uh, settled right at the heart and Shantoham was kind of the mantra. And I remember at one point you said something about your voice distracting us or something. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, your voice doesn't distract me. I mean, it's always in the background, but it's never distracting. So. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes that's a beautiful way to put it. That's a beautiful way. Very good. How are you, Laura? Then we will go to Kate if she is in a hurry. I am good. It was really quiet. I had a glimpse of Kali show up and as well as an owl. So sort of that underworld piece. Peace. So that was kind of interesting. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. How are you, Kay? So funny that I had experience when you were my my father you and my huh? talker. <laughs> I said I had the same experience when you were saying maybe I'm talking too much, whatever, and I was like, ah, oh, stop. Uh, <laughs> Peace, yeah. happy. You <laughs> see so, that? Very. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was very fast. And we did nothing, in fact. We did not focus too much or too much obsessed with any active step. And still the mind withdraws insight. So that needs to be understood that if we live with that awareness and attention supported by the knowledge, then meditation, mindfulness is a play and a fun. How are you, Sam? And I will go to. I'm good. Um, meditation was very peaceful. Um, you know, I've been thinking about the lesson, but also just in general, I'm trying to do more listening than speaking. I feel like I. I I've, okay. I've spent a lot of time speaking um, <laughs> in my life, and I, I'm focused on listening. And um, what's been interesting is trying to distinguish between uh, what of that listening, either by myself or to others, is the contemplation and reflection, or it's the yeah. attachment, sorrow, and suffering. And I had a question earlier, but I think I, I answered it. It's that when you're in contemplation and reflection, you're thinking about um, the real self and thinking about love and all of that. And if the things are making you fearful and yeah. scared, yeah. Then, then that's when your mind is taking over and you're allowing it to, you're allowing <laughs> things to have too much added value. You see, Sam, that's a, that's a good way, you know, and I can put it in a very simple. That is neighbor's house. It's not me. It's not mine. Finished. And that neighbor is the three diseases. Finished. So if we live into that awareness and attention, then I, my mind do not, does not create an object of sorrow and suffering. Think. So when there is no object of sorrow and suffering, there is no subject, means subject is I am. Then that intellect or that mind withdraws itself within, without any effort. When there is no effort, then who am I? I am peace and happiness. <laughs> How are you? Randy, she gives me very good tips in the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, thank you. It was funny that you said that we didn't do a lot of active steps today because right before I like, dipped way down into my piece, my mind was like, it kind of, mm -hmm. practice kind of feels like a Saturday. 
you know, and it was like, okay, fine. But it was really nice. Thank you. Very good. Very good. So, Antoinette is there. Ashok, how are you? I'm good, sir. And um, it was a good peace and uh, awareness right. going on increasing. Yes. <clears throat> You play your role of a father as good as possible because, you know, her, his son is going to get married on 5th of December. So congratulations. <clears throat> how, how old is he? He is 26. You know, look at the Ashok. You see a delusion. Oh, Ashok does not look like. A father of 26 years old. We should say this, but maintain awareness. Ashok is not his body. That is how we live our life. How are you, Antoinette? <laughs> Good morning. I'm fine. I had, when we started, I had a horrible headache. And once I was able to relax yeah. and let go, it's gone. And so it was just very peaceful. Good. I, uh, there, I had questions, questions about grief. Yeah. And tell me, uh, well, I understand to a certain extent what you are saying. It's just the, grief you experience after a, a, a loss and immediate the immediate grief that's where i'm struggling okay who is having a loss i am well well it's it's no it's been years a few years but uh who my is, husband passed away who, who is so, experiencing the loss the mind that is attached Right? Right. There are, yes. there are millions of people die every day. We don't have any grief. But I am attached to someone that returns to my mind with a sense of attachment, results into suffering, that results into delusion. Are you getting it? To a certain extent. No. To a certain yes. Go, go to ask yourself, what is that certain extent? It is 5% or 95%? Why, yes. why I'm asking you the question? We need to upgrade our internet. I, I answer that in a different way. If I do not upgrade my intellect and Keep that intellect continuously being carried away by the mind. Then I have a pleasure intellect. Then I have an expectation intellect. And that will continue to give me, remind me, haunts me. You can use the word, give me a kick. All right. Okay. Think of it. You are now a seeker, so sometime uh, I may be very tough. No, look at this guy, you know, the, he is going against, you know, we should grieve everyone. No, now you are a seeker. We should understand that we are not worthy of grief. We are not worthy of suffering. Now see that uh, my mom died when I was in 10th grade. I cried. I could not speak for at least three or four days. Almost like deaf and dumb. So did that experience still continues? No, I'm speaking. I'm happy. So what happened? 
at a particular time because of that attachment sorrow and the suffering experience after a few weeks i started speaking after a few more months i forgot it was just an incident now i'm explaining that incident right why you carry the baggage answer is this because i leave him or her okay is this did you fall in love or did you rise in love why it is certain to a certain extent why it is not 100 percent is it love or is it attachment? Is it love or is it emotional dependence? And then I ask the question, <coughs> my friend, ask the question, do I get anything by grief, by being sad? And if you get anything, tell me, I will start the next lesson with extreme sadness, sorrow, and suffering. Now you see the smile on your face. No, it's purely understanding. Now the mind does not allow you to understand. So I have to upgrade my intellect when the mind does not allow me to understand. You know, this Samir pushed me when uh, his mother died. No, 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 you have to sit, you know, and you have to give a uh, gossip. So I gave the another gossip before the gathering in the service. Some people remain with themselves. So I spoke about 10, 15 minutes. Are you getting it, Antoinette? Yes. Tell me five precious things that you receive by constantly grieving. Then everyone will start grieving if you really tell me something worth. It doesn't mean <clears throat> this is a journey of a seeker. It does not mean if someone dies near and dear one, oh, you know, grief is not, does not exist. Transactional reality has to be there. When we are living in a social family life, we have to follow the society outside, but internally <laughs> I'm fully aware. See that? In one is transactional self, another is the real self. It doesn't mean that, you know, if someone dies and you say, okay, let us start dancing. Have a rock and dance. <laughs> no, 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 no. <coughs> Why? You have upgraded your interest. You have upgraded your intellect. Huh? Do you understand? That, that's what we are going into a deeper journey. Oh, that is why you don't show me your face during the practice. Anthony. <laughs> okay. okay, that is all for today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.